Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a shootout between free sound retainers or freeze pedals by Electro Harmonics. Uh, in case you know my channel, by the way, if you don't, welcome and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. But if you know my channel, you might have seen that one of my last videos was actually a shootout between the two freeze efforts by TC Electronics with, let's say, mixed results. I didn't really like them. Yeah. I didn't really like them. So the search for the perfect freeze pedal continues with these three. And before we start, I have to tell you, I think that uh, the pedal in the middle here was the original one, the first one maybe, because this is the most basic, while the Deep Freeze and the Super Ego Plus are definitely like upgraded versions of this one here. And so we'll start with this pedal and then work our way through the other two, right? So this is pretty basic. It gives you one layer that you can uh, play over, right? And yeah, this is the clean sound. And let's start with the OG. Pretty basic, but pretty good sound, I have to admit. Now let's go to the deep freeze. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it sounds pretty much the same as the freeze. What I like about this pedal, not only, you know, on this pedal we only have a f an effect level, but here you can actually uh, turn both the dry and the effect to your liking, right? So that is cool. The same is true, of course, for the Super Ego Plus, gives you a lot of options, but let's stay at the very basic sound now. So the same sample as before. Quickly go to the OG once more. Yeah, so basically in this setting I feel all three of those sound exactly the same. I don't hear any difference. But now let's actually talk about what separates them. For one, that's the gliss function or glissando function, which is pretty cool on both the Super Ego Plus and the Deep Freeze. Uh, what that does basically is it morphs the first note you're holding into the second one, right? That sounds pretty cool. And with these knobs here, you can actually set how long this morphing or this transition lasts, right? So this is how it sounds like. Right? Right, so pretty cool. Let's overdo it and go to like three o'clock, which gives us a couple of seconds of morphing time, I feel.
Yeah, so pretty cool. Let's see how it sounds on the deep freeze. Yeah, so it's even longer than on the Super Ego Plus, right? This is something I feel for like special effects, but it's cool to have. You don't have any such option on the original freeze. Right, what we can also do on the Super Ego Plus is play around with all the effects that we have here, right? So this is pretty cool, pretty awesome. It definitely gives um, a lot of different flavors to your um, standard freeze sound. And yeah, let's try it out quickly. Let's go to something interesting, maybe a flange sound. Phaser. This is delay. Detune is very chorus like. Mod, this modulation, rotary, of course. Tremolo. Pitch is also very cool. I'll just play one note. Let me check for a good one. Let me turn the effect up and the dry sound a little bit lower. Yeah, so as you can hear, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this pedal. It really is a multi-effect, a synth engine multi-effect, they call it. Um, what I also like about this pedal, something that I discovered while reading the manual, uh, is that you can actually, you have, you have an effects loop, but you can also, if you don't want to use the effects loop, you can also use uh, the return jack here to split your signal, right? So you have, the output would be totally clean, your clean guitar, and your return would give back only the effects signal, 
right? So that would be pretty cool if you have like a stereo setup going on and on one side you only want to have the effect, maybe you have a delay there or some other effects basically to totally change your sound. It's all possible with this pedal, uh, not so much with these two or not at all with these two basically. Yeah, so that's basically why I really like this pedal. I mean, it is the most expensive one, obviously, in this test, but I really like it just because it gives you so much room and space for uh, experimentation, right? So that is pretty cool. And yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one. But listen, if you're just interested in one layer of good, solid uh, sound retainer, free sound, you know, to be completely honest, the OG is perfectly fine. It's really nice. I, I like the sound, actually. It definitely sounds way better than the TC Electronic uh, efforts that I tried out last time. And it's a totally fine pedal. It, you know, doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. But I really like it. If that's what you want, just one layer of effect, it's perfectly fine. This is just the luxury version of that, right? It gives you a lot of effects, a lot of options. There's definitely a learning curve with this pedal. You know, I haven't cracked it uh, already, right? Just had it for a couple of days. But I mean, the uh, possibilities are endless if that's what you want, right? But these two will do the job just fine. I actually would say that the uh, OG sounds perfectly fine doesn't cost a lot. This is a little bit of an upgraded version. Uh, I definitely like the Gliss function here. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Um, I think this video is long enough now. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative for you. And yeah, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye. With two eyes.